Hello everyone, this is this video is the presentation of the solution of example 2 on fundamentals of fluid flow. Here is the problem. Gas flows at a steady rate in a 100 mm diameter pipe that enlarges to a 150 mm diameter pipe. At a certain section of the 100 mm pipe, the density of the gas is 200 kg per cubic meter and the velocity is 20 meters per second. At a, at a certain section of the 150 mm pipe, the velocity is 14 meters per second. What must be the density of the gas at that section? What is the mass flow rate? What is the weight flow rate? How about the volume flow rate? So for the first question, uh, area 1, velo mean velocity 1, density 1 equals area 2, mean velocity 2, density 2. This is the continuity equation for gases or compressible fluids. Or the product is mass flow rate or Q rho. So pi over 4 times 0.1 square times 20 then times 200 kilogram per cubic meter is pi over 4. 0.15 square times 14 times density 2. So the density at section 2 which is on the 150 mm diameter pipe is 127.0 kilogram per cubic meter. What is the mass flow rate? Mass flow rate is constant. So for, for compressible fluids such as gases. So Q rho is Q1 rho 1, Q2 rho 2. Since we already have information on Q1 rho 1, which is area 1, mean velocity 1, density 1, so we'll use that. So pi over 4 times 0.1 square times 20 times 200. In kilogram per second, the mass flow rate is 31.42. The weight flow rate is simply this mass flow rate here with Mass weight flow rate is Q times gamma times specific weight. So it is also Q1 gamma 1, Q2 gamma 2. And since we already computed uh, Q rho, so we'll just replace gamma 1 by density times G. Or Q rho multiplied by G. So Q gamma is Q1 rho 1 times g, we replace gamma 1 by density at section 1 times g, which is 9.81. So q gamma is 31.42 times 9.81. So the weight flow rate is 308.2 newtons per second. Then the volume flow rate at section 2, this is discharge q2. It is different because uh, it is not constant for q. It is simply area 2, velocity 2. So it is pi over 4 times 0.15 square times 14. Pi over 4 times 0.15 square times 14. So the discharge or volume flow rate is 0 0.2474 74 cubic meter per second. So that's it. It's just the basic question.